There are rock sculptures that have been in Wabasha County for 100 years, and they are a geologist's dream. But nobody knows exactly why they're there. This week, WCCO's John Lawrence heads to the village of Jarrett for a Finding Minnesota mystery. November along the Zumbro River, a time when the autumn sun dances on the water. And as it does, it also sheds light on a little village of 25 people. This used to be a town yep. at one point. At one point. And this is our house, which used to be the Coach Hotel. And the railroad went right through here? Yep. We're on it. We're on the railroad, okay. <laughs> Jarrett also used to have a school, a grocery store, and a mill. When the railroad left 90 years ago, that all disappeared. But you could say the town's cornerstone remains. I call it a little piece of heaven. I could spend every day down here. <laughs> Just ask my husband. <laughs> Ruth Ann Diedrich and her husband Tom are the caretakers for the Jarrett Rock Garden, a place where sculptures are scattered across the property. Each one of them created a century ago by a man named Jake Reemers, better known as Jakey. The, the people that did know him a little bit said he was just kind of a homebody, walked everywhere he went in life, and he had his little taxidermy place here. And Reamers didn't own a car and raised foxes, and he mostly kept to himself, which is why no one's really sure what the sculptures mean. They're all different, and I don't know what his rhyme or reason was. But we don't know what this is exactly. No, I don't anyway. And we probably never will. No. Reamers passed away about 60 years ago. He never told the locals his intentions, and he doesn't have any family nearby. You would love to have five minutes with the guy, right? Yeah, just to talk about this? Yeah, just uh, get a little more information on what his thought process was and what he was actually doing. But that also adds to the intrigue. Sort of like Wabasha County's version of Stonehenge. The Diedrichs are sure of one thing. These sculptures were built to last. Reamer used agates and geodes from the rivers and bluffs and built the sculptures one piece at a time careful to hide the concrete he used to hold them together. He actually put drain tubes in so the water can get out so it don't freeze and break. You know, back in the 1920s or 30s, who would have thought of that? The garden even survived a flood in 2010 when the Zumbro River rose five feet. After the water receded, it actually revealed other sculptures that had been buried long ago. We have one gentleman that comes on particular on a, some basis and he just comes to get away from all of the you know, all of the work and stress. The couple says more and more people began showing up during COVID, drawn to the peace and quiet of the garden. Ruthann and Tom plant flowers and cut the grass to keep it pristine for visitors and even the occasional wedding. You've had motorcycle clubs come through and you've had flower clubs come through. And that's the way they like it. A hidden gem that's not so hidden anymore, even if no one is exactly sure why. It was put here in the first place. It's pretty amazing that a guy back then, you know, how talented he really was. People come and they're just, it's so peaceful, they just want to sit here and enjoy it. In Wabasha County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Reamers also made grottos at two nearby cemeteries. If you'd like to visit, the Jarrett Rock Garden is on Highway 60 between the villages of Hammond and Millville. It's open year round and it's free to visit.